Hey guys, so today is uh, February 7th, I believe. A little bit of a cold snap here in Birmingham. It's like uh, winter again. Temperature's been so funky this year. It's a pretty morning. I'm out at one of our properties and gonna pull some game cameras and kind of see what kind of activity we got going. And we had a uh, just a ton of rain, just a flood wash come through uh, yesterday, and uh, so it's real sloppy and muddy out here today. But I noticed on some of the spot point cameras that it pushed some of the deer around. One really big deer that I've had showing up on the camera uh, disappeared for about a week. He finally popped back up this morning. I was glad to see him and uh, another, you know, big deer Vader that I've been watching all season. He uh, he showed up last night too. So uh, these last couple days of the season, the season ends on the tenth, and uh, we're we're getting close. It's all good, you know trust God if it's meant to happen it'll happen but you can see we got a plenty of water we'll spend the day today kind of uh, you know like I said pulling cameras and, and scouting around a little bit I, uh, Got a couple new houndstooth calls that I ordered in the mail. Got them yesterday. Too cold, and I know the birds aren't making any noise yet, but I might ease up in here and try to give one a little yacht yacht. See if I can get one to make some noise just for fun. I love them turkeys, boy. Y'all know that, but. Funny thing is, I was thinking about it like, so this will be, I'm going into my third season of turkey hunting where I've really gotten after it. So I'm not an expert, not a veteran by any stretch of the means. And I'm still trying to figure out if I've, the turkeys I've killed, if I snuck up on them or if I called them, if I just got lucky, I don't know. But I am catching turkeys on camera and I love that boy. But it's coming up. They, they, they pushed a week out of our season in Alabama this year. March 21st, the season opens, which is super unfortunate in my opinion. But I guess guys that know more about it than I do know what they're doing. Trying to protect the turkeys, and that's good. I wish in the state of Alabama they'd just say, hey, let's stop. Let's stop shooting Jake's, let them mature, but what do I know? Hard to believe we're right smack dab in the middle of the most populated suburban area in Birmingham, Alabama. And uh, God, just by the grace of God, and had the ability to even walk around out here, let alone hunt and enjoy the, enjoy the nature. I mean, it's just, such a pretty place but Harry's here pulling up go check some game cameras and we'll see what we find out so check it out all right so we're at one of our food plots right now uh, a little small food plot on the edge of a on a creek bed Harry Tell me a little bit about your philosophy as far as growing food plots. A lot of perennial clover food plots, um, large food plots of soybeans in the summer. You can convert those. Usually once they eat the beans down, just go back and overseed them with clover. That's what we did in this field. We seeded about a five seed clover mix. And pretty much looks like carpet out here. So what do you, what do you like about the soybeans? I know we put those Eagle brand soybeans in. What's That's a Ford soybean, so they put out a lot more tonnage per acre. That way you're feeding the deer a lot more to where there's a digestible protein versus just trying to use 
you know, protein pellets or powders. <clears throat> so I think for developing mature deer and young deer, if you can go with, you know, digestible forages like soybeans, clover, clover's about 10% this year round, soybeans, you know, it's about six months out of the year. So the more food you can give them when they grow in their horns, the bigger they get. So what do you, so, okay, the seasons, we got about four or five days left. And uh, so what will be our next step on this field right here? Just let them eat the clover and see how the clover's doing when it comes time to plant soybeans. When will that be? Um, soybeans depend on soil temperature, usually around mm, late April, May, be the earliest. In June, July is about your latest you want to go. Okay. All right. Well, cool deal. That's what that's what we're doing, and it seemed to work pretty good. We're about to pull a, uh, a game card over here and see what's been popping up in this field, and keep you guys posted. set up for the final push always wear a lineman's rope you see he's doing that he's doing it right you just never 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 know always better to be safe than sorry when it comes to climbing up trees guys um, got the spot point set up pictures are transmitting This is the uh, the very first spot I caught Vader on camera. We got one last weekend push, so hopefully we'll see what happens. Guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today uh, Harry's gonna go run and try to jump up in a tree stand this afternoon if there's anybody in the world that I hope kills kills a big deer in these last few days it's him he's put in more work and more time deserves to to, to enjoy the fruit of killing a big deer so uh, that's gonna wrap it up man we're gonna call it a day gonna head back to the house gotta get the kiddos got soccer practice all the normal suburban life activities so thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time hopefully get a phone call this afternoon where harry stuck a big one and we'll have a nice little track job and a big deer on camera so stay tuned